All right, since we have the bottom just there in place, I just went and got a um, iron clothes rack. And if you push it into this hole here, slide it in, you'll feel a little catch in there. And it allows you to release the airbag. So I've got one side released. Then I got the other side released. We're gonna see if we can get this airbag out of there. Um, gonna have orange and blue. We're gonna get that off as well. Get that airbag out. The plug, as you can see, right. All right. So we got this red plug disconnected, and that's out. Then right here, you will see that these two clips that were down in actually pull out and they will release the airbag. Um, like I said, these are the only two things. I'm trying to get them out here without any issues. But that's it. Airbag is out. So it looks like there's a uh, bolt in the middle. is a 15 sixteenths. Um, got it loose. Didn't have one, so I kind of just made like a little bracket with a, a crescent wrench. So I'll run out and grab one of these. We'll go see if my father-in-law has one before I put it back together. But I think right now the steering wheel is officially disassembled. And yeah, that's it. Comes right off. Didn't expect it to be that easy, but right off. All right. Let's see what we got to do next. Next, we're going to get this piece of trim right here off, this whole thing off. And then we're going to change this out. And we'll get it rolling. All right. Yes, everything does look like it's falling apart, <laughs> but it's not. So these two little pins pushed in and it allowed this to lift up. On the bottom here, you'll see three holes. Each one of them had a 732nd screw in it. So this allows the bottom piece of trim to be removed to access the bottom, okay? So we're going to have to get this steering cock off. Um, I'm gonna to try to install it, obviously, and make it look the exact same pattern as the one that's on there. Um, this one is going to allow for the um, heat of steering wheel function, and it's like a couple more plugs are going to go into it. So let's get to the, getting this one off. So we got those four torque screws out, pull straight off. So we're out with the old, and then we're going to just push the new one directly in place, and then we'll put the screws in and then mess with the wiring here in a second. So here's the new one in. We're going to just change that plug up to here and put the screws in. I'm gonna leave this little returning clip in there for right now. All right, so we have the new one installed to screws in. If we go down here to the module, the plug um, that was, I'm thinking it was the uh, 965, goes in to here. So this is not an ideal shot, but it is what it is. So the, I think 997 plug um, that I originally um, had posted that was on the end of port um, three and four out of the bit connector that goes into the um, heat of steering wheel module. There's a plug that is in the 15s and 16s and 17s that is not in the 18s. So, what I did was did some research online and found out that that plug is actually just tapped into the um, OBD2 connector at the bottom. Um, so if you take wire three in that large connector, which is yellow in mine, it would tap into the um, purple and orange wire, which is the MS can uh, negative and the white, which would be number four, would tap into the gray and um, orange. You can also buy a connector 
the kind of bridges in between if you don't want to tap into your factory wiring but i didn't have an issue with that um it's like i said i want to get all this wrapped up real good but this is just me to get it you know on so i can make sure it's running correctly just wanted to let you all know everything is hooked up so you saw in the last little area that i tapped into the gray and orange and the purple and orange wires to um feed the ms can um to power the module then when you come across there was a red wire the long red wire i actually brought it across and i put it into fuse 36 no this is not the best idea how i kind of have it spliced in there um the second wire you see here is the larger one is the power um that goes over to the module so what I'm actually going to get is a uh, mini, I think it's like a mini two uh, fuse tap and I'm going to put right here and I'm going to run these off of a 15 so I can actually tap into the fuse rather than kind of splicing in like I do. I could actually go behind that and tap into the wires, but I just decided not to do that. Um, but that's just the route I went to power it. When I cut the vehicle on, Everything's been changed with Forescan. I will um, show you what changes I made here shortly. Um, but the steering wheel is nice and cold. Everything's going to be powering up. And down here, hit the button, the light will come on. It doesn't take long seconds and then you can feel the heat coming. Um, I will show you the setting that I use to, um, like I said, already I can feel the warmth um, start. Um, I will show you the settings that I used um, to pick the temperature out. I did make it a little hotter than normal. Uh, we will see if that's something that is gonna be kind of bad or not. Um, I am planning on putting my leather cover back on, so we'll see if it's gonna be able to put any um, temperature through that. I like the thickness of the steering wheel a little bit better but um we're going to get this steering wheel inside the house and i'm going to switch these controls out and then we're going to actually um tighten this down to 60 foot pounds and i'm probably even going to leave this trim on here i'll see which one my wife likes better all right we have both of the steering wheels in here 18 f-150 xlt i think this one is a 16 platinum um, heated steering wheel module. So basically, these trims right around the outside, they just pull straight up out of some notches. I've already kind of got them disconnected just for the ease of the video. And the wires follow this contour of bone in here with the plugs in the middle, same plugs. Um, on the back side of this, what we're going to do is take the regular. Um, cruise control module or the regular cruise control buttons out and put them over here and take the adaptive ones out so when you flip this over the plug comes out I've already checked the plugs the plug has the exact same wires on both ones so this one is going to come out and sit here this one is the same pull straight up out of there with a little bit of pride I guess I pushed it in there a little bit too far And this one has an extra plug for the heated steering wheel. So it's gonna come out and come off there. And then when it flips over, it's the same. We're gonna get the plug off of it. And there's actually four little screws that go into it that hold the module, hold the uh, controller in. We're gonna skip all that for the ease of the video. Um, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna get it all back in there. It's no big deal. New controls in. Plug's gonna glow go in, so it has the regular controls on the side. We're not gonna worry about this one so much because this is the one we're working with. It's gonna go right. 
back in. As you see, these are the little push pins that I was saying. They just kind of push into these little areas. And lock in. That snaps in and it goes on the back side of it, it locks down. This is the heated control module. Everything else just push back in. That's it. We're gonna go out there and get this back into the truck, disconnect the battery, put the airbag back in, torque this bolt in the middle down to 40 foot, 60 foot pounds, and we should be done. So we are. I have it all back into the truck. Airbags back in, everything's back in. Let's go ahead and get it started up. Make sure this works for us. So, heated seats work, steering wheel works, and the other one still works. So, off, on. Let's see if I'm maybe going to feel any heat through this. I do have to come out uh, because of the disconnect. I do have a airbag alarm. I'm going to actually just reset it with my foreskin. It'll go away on its own, but I've got an OCD, so I want it to all be gone anyways. But let me see. See, I can feel a little bit of warmth already here underneath the bottom. Just want to know if it's going to be enough to radiate through this. But anyways, um, that's the end of it. I'm not going to have you all sit here to wait to see if it does do that. I'll let you know in the um, little comment part. Stay tuned and thank you. Hit the like button and subscribe. All right, everyone. So the heated steering wheel um, upgrade is complete. Um, so the platinum steering wheel that I took out of the 16, I'm thinking, I had ordered offline will fit in the 18. Just a couple changes um, that I found out after kind of doing the research about this. So some of the research that I saw, uh, some of the people were tapping into the um, reverse camera wire. I didn't do that. I decided to go ahead and just put an add the fuse, just kind of like a mini fuse in there. Um, that's going to be at like a 15 amp. So I put the mini fuse in and um, that goes into area 36. Um, also did like four, four scan changes and I'll show you the ones that I did. And I'll also put a uh, list of the options that you have if you're going to, um, select the temperature. So the temperatures can range from, you know, um, 68, 76, 84, 88, 90, 92, 100. So I picked, um, I want to think it was the 92. It's the, um, 
Ford Fusion default temperature. I think the one that comes with the truck is like 94, uh, 84, 86. Um, and I also got rid of the one plug. I'm thinking the plug was the 977 plug. It was one at the very end that was supposed to plug into a plug under the dash. I didn't have that. So what I had to do was tap into the, um, like I said, I've said it multiple times in the video, the uh, MS can um, wires in the back of the OBD2 connector. So um, I think that was the gray wire in, in orange and the purple wire in orange. Besides that, everything worked fine. Nice plenty of heat. Um, why do this upgrade for me in my area? I like to have a nice um, warmth driving to work. So I remote start the car for the most part in my area. We get a good bit of snow in the winter. So once I clean the car off, my hands are frozen and I don't drive with um, gloves on. It's just kind of one of the things that I will do. So it'd be nice to hold on to that nice warm steering wheel. All right. Hope you all enjoyed this upgrade. Hope you all enjoyed this change. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe.